Star Wars. Everyone loves Star Wars. Who doesn't love Star Wars? But does Star Wars actually sell on eBay? With the new Star Wars movie coming out this Christmas, it got me thinking a little bit, does Star Wars items sell on eBay? And I'm talking all your different figures, to pops, to videos, to DVDs, everything. So let's have a little look in the eBay world of Star Wars. So we're going to start with Star Wars figurines and we're going to go straight to sold items. Right. Okay, let's have a look at Star Wars. We'll just start with uh, Star Wars figures, recently ended sold stuff. Uh, Boba Fett always sells anything Boba Fett. So some figures there, they're the recent figures. You're looking at uh, all the pops, little Queen Amidala. I did know that uh, that isn't about a hundred dollar pop. Vintage Star Wars. Hmm. So I don't like these when they're uh, like they got a line through it because you don't know how much they actually paid and got offered. Twenty six bucks. $144 just for that single figure. $17. Uh, someone got a good bargain there. Uh, $43. Bucks. Okay, so, you know, you can get a good $10 for a figure if you can pick them up at the right price. Oh, that's a cool job of the hut right there. $32 only for that. That's pretty good. I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to the highest. Let's have a look what the highest go for. Like I said, I don't like it when we've got a line between these. Um, that one looks actually pretty cool. Bit of a statue, three grand, 142 figures, two and a half grand. So if you can pick up some uh, figures for 50 cents each at markets, uh, you're pretty much laughing. You could, you would have paid about 50 bucks to 100 bucks for all them. Uh, that's if you can get them. Nice rare one, two grand, another rare one, two grand. Boba Fett, Boba Fett always goes two grand. Oh, jeez. wonder what they paid for that. That's uh, expensive right there. Whole heap of uh, figures there, vintage ones for two grand. Godfather, come up in Star Wars. 220 figures. That's, they didn't get much for that. They would have paid more for that. Oh, there's a vintage Luke Skywalker right there. 1600 bucks, wonder what they paid for that. Probably paid a grand. That's a lot of money. Okay. Ah, all the cartoon droids. That C-3PO little shit. They got a fair bit for it too. 1600 bucks. So as you can see, there's a Jawa. As you can see, you can Boba Fett. Boba Fett's are the go. Alright. Alright, so that was pretty sweet. So let's try vintage, in the words, vintage Star Wars. And uh, we'll see on the computer here what actually has recently sold. So we're looking at the highest price of vintage. Star Wars vintage. And they were already up there in the last ones. See, we just don't know what uh, these prices went for when they're crossed off like that. So be careful, be very, very careful when you're researching. Um, three grand. That would definitely have gone for three grand. Uh, yeah, it's hard to tell, but it looks like you can get thousands of dollars for a good uh, old school vintage. Um, Star Wars toy the problem is just be careful like I said be careful when you're buying this stuff and research it all definitely research all right it's my least favorite thing to sell but a lot of people have a lot of success so I'm gonna look it up for you let's try Star Wars books uh, I could try in Star Wars novels but we'll just type in Star Wars books all right we're looking up Star Wars books uh, and we've got highest sold and buy it now and highest 
price paid. Uh, Star Wars original there. Okay, 85 books. That would have been heavy to post, man. 82 books. So we're looking at $200. They would have been very heavy to post. As you see, $78 there and $162 there. Hundred and forty six bucks for twenty eight books. Well, if you can get your hands on some books, then it looks like you uh, might get some good dosh, but they're the highest prices. Let's just uh, have a look what's recently sold in a picture. Yeah, let's see, five dollars. Oh, Ooh, hundred and eight dollars. Jesus. Yeah. Not, not bad money for some Star Wars books too. Ten dollars, five dollars, three dollars, fuck that. Even worth five dollars. Even worth your time. Thirty-five dollars, thirty-two dollars. So if you can get some uh, Star Wars books or comics, I'm pretty sure you will get a few bucks back. Um, it all depends, you've got to do your research as well, but it does look promising for books. Okay, you know my favourite thing is VHS, so let's type in Star Wars VHS and see how the sold listings go for videos. So, my favourite Star Wars VHS tapes, this, this is just uh, recently sold, these are the droids. $10 went for $36. This trilogy, $20. Not too much in the Star Wars VHS, so you're looking, you're looking at a good 10 bucks. And I have sold a lot. Oh, Battle of Endor, Ewoks should have gone for a lot more than that. Same with that big massive box set of Phantom Menace. Let's just have a look and see go with the highest price of so what the highest price of books uh, not books we're going uh, videos don't know what they got for them same with them original trilogy 250 bucks problem with Star Wars uh, VHS is a lot of people try to sell them um, really expensive when you're uh, looking for cheap 50 cent videos and um, yeah they want a little bit too much because most of the time there's only $10 that you can get for a Star Wars video but looks like they have been selling for a hundred bucks but they're the unique ones and uh, very um, rare ones Revenge of the Sith went for $90 it's same one I don't believe that okay Ewoks, $88, there you go. See, so if you can find the rare one, you will get uh, some good dosh for that. Alright, let's just, why didn't I think of it? Let's just try Star Wars. Just type in just Star Wars. Uh, we'll go with sold listings in the highest and uh, go from there, just Star Wars. So we just type in just Star Wars, just Star Wars. So this is under sold and highest price. Life size R2D2. That a life size? It's like a toy. $35,000, Jesus. Men's adult Chewbacca. Fuck off. That's a lie. Look at that. Doll. Millennium Falcon. Find the Millennium Falcon, you get ten grand. Pinball machine, eight grand. A lot of money to be made in Star Wars, especially with a new movie coming out. Oh, look at that, that's a comic book. Another pinball. Signatures. Jesus, that really looks real. Boba Fett. Boba Fett mask. Yeah.
definitely worth uh, hunting down Star Wars stuff if I was you and you're a reseller. Uh, not rocket science really, but um, look at that, that's, imagine having them. Because there's a lot of collectors that want all the old stuff, but they want, they, I know that people want it mint, they want it mint condition. So, I was just about to say, I'm surprised I haven't seen any Darth Maul stuff, it's Darth Maul Lego. thousands of dollars if you can find the right shit. Definitely looking thousands of dollars. And that's all from the highest, uh, that was all from the highest. Let's just quickly go up to the top, hope that didn't make you feel sick. Uh, latest sold in Star Wars stuff, uh, Rise of the Skywalker poster. Oh, that's brilliant. Darth Sidious in the background, $118. Wow. Wow. And then the Darth Sidious. The Darth Sidious? Yeah. That's cool. Only 18 bucks, but definitely cool. Princess Leia, 15 bucks. So you are going to get your hair. Yeah, there's a cool wicket. $200. It's expensive for a pop. Must be a very rare one. Not bad. This is what you've got to do, you've got to come on to eBay and look at sold listings, the recent stuff that's sold and stuff that's sold for the highest amount. Um, Poe? Oh, went that much? Jesus. Uh, Darth Vader, I got that Darth Vader one, I only paid 20 bucks for it, but uh, there it is for $34. Not bad, Wicked. It's a pretty cool Wicked. Yeah, so you're definitely in the money if you get your hands on some Star Wars gear. You can get it at the markets and uh, people don't really know what they're flogging off. And, um, wow. And you can uh, get a good price. Definitely laughing. Oh, I want that Jabba the Hutt. I want that Jabba the Hutt. Cool, cool. Alright, and you know Boba Fett is definitely worth the one that you're looking for. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, Queen Amidala again. Alright, cool. It shows from all the research, Boba Fett is what you want. Uh, it's, he's probably the most popular. Uh, just by looking and scrolling through all this, uh, Boba Fett is your biggest seller. So, And 70s, 70s Star Wars toys, 70s action figures, they're, uh, they're the ones that go like hotcakes and you get some good money for those as well. It's a hell yes for Star Wars for me on eBay. Star Wars will resell. But like I've said in a lot of other videos, just be careful. You need to do your research. Don't just go buying any Star Wars things. Do your research and see what is sold and what is currently listed. Remember, you want to make money. So when you go to these garage sales and thrift stores they do like to bump up the price of Star Wars for some reason they think all Star Wars is worth a lot a lot of money and they're selling some crap shit that's worth nothing for a lot of a lot of money high prices high prices so please do your research just because it says Star Wars on it doesn't mean it's worth anything but then if you do do your research you're gonna find that gold mine you're gonna find that gold mine that is worth some good good money some good money is gonna take you to the force Alright, that's all from me. Star Wars verdict is a big yes if you can find it cheap, but a lot of people or resellers on garage sales do jack up their prices so you can't make anything, so it's just uh, luck of the draw when you find something good. Alright, give us a good old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, put the bell notification on uh, so you can watch these when they come out. Drop a comment if you uh, want me to research anything. I'll do anything on these uh, videos to research what sells on eBay for you. Um, I've got a lot of ideas. I've got a big list of what I'm going to look up for you. Um, and subscribe and you'll see more of them. But uh, until now, let the uh, force be with you and uh, see you.